Hey there, in this video, I'd like to show how you can connect using your local IDE, specifically IntelliJ IDEA, to a remote workspace running on OpenShift DevSpaces. So that is a remote cloud development environment that contains all of the source code and runtime libraries needed to develop your application, and your local IDE is effectively a shell connecting to that remote environment. How this works is using the OpenShift DevSpaces plugin for JetBrains Gateway. You can download JetBrains Gateway for free on JetBrains.com. And you'll also need, as I mentioned, IntelliJ IDEA, which you can also download a trial instance of from JetBrains.com. Once you have JetBrains Gateway and IntelliJ IDEA installed, you can install the OpenShift DevSpaces plugin from the JetBrains Marketplace. They have a nifty little button here where you can click to install to Gateway. Alternatively, you can click on the versions here, download a specific version of the plugin if you need, and head back over to JetBrains Gateway, go to the settings, and select this install plugin from disk option if you need to install a specific version. Now, I'm already set up, so I can just go ahead and head on over to my OpenShift cluster. Now, if you don't have an OpenShift cluster, you can go to developers.redhat.com find Developer Sandbox, and that will give you access to a free hosted OpenShift environment. I have the OpenShift environment up and running already over here. And what I can do is click on the application launcher here and select OpenShift DevSpaces. And that brings me to DevSpaces over here, where we can create a new workspace. Now, I already have a workspace running. You can see it here on the left. I'll come back to that in a moment. But if it's your first time in here, Make sure you select the Create Workspace option, choose Editor, and then instead of using the default VS Code uh, editor, which is a editor that's going to be hosted in your web browser here, we want to choose IntelliJ, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Desktop. So that's going to use our local instance of IntelliJ. Then scroll down and either provide a URL to a Git repo you would like to work on, or provide or sorry, select one of our samples here now. I, as I mentioned, already have a workspace running, which is the Node.js example. So I'll click here and select Open. And we can see it's telling me it's already running, so I'll click to Open in IntelliJ IDEA. And JetBrains Gateway now should connect us to the remote uh, cloud development environment and launch IntelliJ IDEA so we can begin editing those files and working on our code. And there we go. It takes a second for everything to boot up the first time. But once it does, what we're going to see is all of our code, all of our libraries, everything we need are effectively visible to us here in our local IDE, but they're running remotely in OpenShift DevSpaces, which is really neat because you can have standardized development environments um, and none of your code actually needs to be you know, stored locally on your device. So I can expand the Node.js starter here. I can see there is a package.json, so a pretty typical node project. And inside this package.json, we have some dependencies. I installed them earlier to save a couple of seconds of video time. And we also have some typical scripts that you'll find in a node project. So for example, I can run this uh, start script here. And once it starts the application, it'll say it's uh, available on port 3000. Now, naturally, that's remote port 3000 inside this cloud development environment. So what I need to do is come up here, go to ports, and make sure I have a port forwarding rule configured, which I did configure earlier. Uh, you can just use uh, uh, any port you like locally, but what I'm doing is I'm just mapping the remote 3000 to a local 3000. And if I come back here to my web browser, I can go to localhost 3000, and we see we get a response from our remote development environment. And that's it. We can change the code and see changes in real time. For example, we can go down here and say hello from Node.js and just add application. Hello from my Node.js application. And restart this script. Refresh. And there we go. We can see our changes. So that's it. It's that easy to connect to a OpenShift DevSpaces instance from IntelliJ IDEA using our OpenShift DevSpaces plugin for JetBrains Gateway.